What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Beyonce and Jay-Z mad at Jaguar right interview. Uh, Pierce Morgan apologizes. I don't know. Let's get it. Hello, everybody. Four, Welcome four, four to the Impressive chat. Channel. Jay-Z and Beyonce must have been very, very furious about the interview that Jaguar Wright did with Pierce Morgan because they sent their lawyers at Pierce. Now, I'm pretty sure you all may have heard about this interview. It went viral. And I was a bit surprised that Pierce interviewed Jaguar because, you know, Jaguar is known to spew conspiracy theories. And she has made her rounds on different YouTube channels, which is not a problem. But I think it became a problem when she hopped on a mainstream media platform like Pierce Morgan's uncensored show and started making claims about Jay-Z and his ties to P. Diddy. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim making machine kept going on. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. What? Now include Beyonce? They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Paul? people <laughs> against their will, putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane, unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about, Pierce. Now, when Jaguar did this interview, it was pretty shocking to a lot of people. And this interview spread like wildfire. I even couldn't believe that Jaguar made it to Pierce Morgan. That was crazy to me. But a lot of the things she said seemed to be baseless and she didn't really provide any proof. Now, she says she has proof, but we don't know for certain. And also her kind of alluding to Jay-Z and Beyonce having something to do with Aaliyah's passing is just another big conspiracy theory that hasn't been backed up by any real facts. So Jay's huge conspiracy theory. Jay and Beyonce had to respond to this, of course. So they sent their lawyers at Pierce Morgan. They had him edit out parts of the interview and they also had him apologize. Well, Jay, you were right. Unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and B What? Pierce Morgan had to apologize? Oh, girl, they was about to sue his ass. Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves, but now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact, and we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. Ah, damn. Uh, but like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theater, there are legal limits on us too, and we apologize to Jay-Z and Beyonce. So Jay-Z and Beyonce put their foot down and made Pierce take down the part where Jaguar was talking about them. So they're not playing around. And I'm pretty sure some people are wondering, well, why did they come for Pierce Morgan and not Jaguar, right? Honestly, Pierce has the money. I don't think Jaguar has the resources to she pay don't. out Jay-Z and Beyonce in a lawsuit. She don't. I think the most they could do to her is send a cease and desist. But they would rather get at the big fish instead of the small one. So I think this is why they stuck their lawyers at Pierce. The interview was making way too much noise to ignore. It was going viral. And I'm sure this sent a wave of panic through the Carters because they were like, hold on. Jaguar Zara. is making all these allegations. You know, I can't read this during the video, right? <laughs> do whatever it say, do that, that shit. Are very damaging to our reputation, to our brand. We have to react. So them coming at Pierce Morgan was not only sending a message to him, but sending a message to the world that these allegations are not going to slide with them. They will take legal action. Now, I want to get into this story because this story is pretty crazy. Now, <laughs> the NFL player Stefan Diggs is being accused of some pretty wild things. And if you don't know, Stefan was said to be linked to Cardi B. This was supposedly her side piece. And she allegedly messed around with him when she was eight months pregnant. Offset did accuse her of messing with somebody while pregnant, which 
Honestly, I think this story was oh, today, did did I believe it was a PR stunt. Offset and Cardi are still very much together. And <laughs> I think they allowed this story to circulate to get some attention. And I think this story was fed to academics so he could report on it and spread this narrative that Cardi was getting her lick back by messing Damn. up. Damn. P. Diddy trial don't start till May 2025. Around with this NFL player, Stefan Diggs. And Cardi B was like eight months pregnant. Offset went through her phone and caught her texting a nigga, some dog ass nigga named Stefan Diggs, some bat, some football player. He done f everybody's hoe in the game, which is kind of ironic because every time your girl want to get their lick back, they go to the biggest hole. Um, wap. Wap. <laughs> what does that stand for? That's Cardi B. <laughs> oh damn do i think cardi and stefan were texting maybe but i don't believe they actually mess with each other for real for real like i said i think cardi wanted this narrative out to get some attention because this is a whole stunt but i will say this stunt is starting to backfire because now stefan is being caught up in some more serious drama and Cardi unfortunately allowed her name to be linked to this man. Now, Stefan is currently being accused of attempting to drug and violate this man by the name of Chris Blake Griffin. Wait, and what? Chris Blake Gr Griffith accuses Stefan Diggs of drugging him and trying to do him. Claims it played a part in him getting jumped by Stefan's brother. They likely wanted my mouth closed about the and shout out to the neighborhood talk for actually covering this story because I saw it on their blog. But yeah, he said in a post that Stefan tried to drug him and snatch his virgin hole, but he resisted. <laughs> and because he resisted, he said that Stefan's brothers allegedly ordered people to attack him to silence him. Not only that, they stole this man's clothes and his chains. I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, he even he did got posted proof. receipts on his Instagram as well. So this ain't looking too good for the NFL player Stefan Diggs. And Cardi should not have allowed him to be attached to her name like this because look how this whole PR stunt is backfiring. This is why people have to stop doing things for clout. All publicity is not good publicity. And speaking of clout chasers, let's talk about Megan Thee Stallion's ex-best friend Kelsey Nicole being put on blast for trying to attach herself to Nicki Minaj's shoe brand with Lochi. Now... These are Nicki Minaj's shoes? Oh. Well, the Shade Room did post this whole photo shoot that Kelsey did, and people were under the assumption that Nicki <laughs> hired Kelsey because of how professional what are the those? photos looked. They thought it was an official photo shoot. Look, bro, I know y'all like Nicki Minaj and all that, to the point where y'all will be mad even if you don't like the shoes. But, bro. Yeah, hell no. Come on, bro. Minaj's shoe brand with low fucking upset at the idea of Nikki hiring Kelsey because they know that Kelsey doesn't get along with Megan. They had a very bad fallout over Tory Lanez. So they thought that Nikki hired Kelsey to spite Megan. But come to find out, Nikki had nothing <laughs> to do with this photo shoot. In As fact, hell. She came out and said this. The fact that The Shade Room posted this live five days ago, and I'm just now finding out, child, LOL, I love being booked and busy. Models for my collection? She posted a photo in my sneakers. Me nor my company knew anything about it until she posted it. So she did what many people did when they received my sneakers. They posted a photo in them. Kelsey definitely went all the way out with this professional looking backdrop though, but she is in no way professionally connected to my sneaker brand. No matter what y'all pay the shade room to post, please remember that I did a sold out record breaking tour and was then asked to do a second leg. Too busy and too successful for the clownery. These calculated planned stories and narratives every time y'all gotta promote is only making me feel even more like I'm that B. No confidence in your talents and abilities as labels to sell albums or anything. So you waste money and energy on this. Mm hmm. Hashtag gag city Miami tonight. By the way, did Kelsey not tell them she wasn't modeling for the line barbs? Did she just let them think that I got to get caught up y'all <laughs> LOL chat. Ooh wee. So that's what Nikki had to say. And if you read between the lines, she's obviously hinting that maybe Megan's team paid the shade room to post this and circulate this story so it can make her look bad. But she did not hire Kelsey. I Kelsey mean, it's nothing for Kelsey to say to model the damn shoes. Did this on her own volition. 
she wasn't paid to do it or anything. She oh, just, wait a minute. Kelsey wasn't paid to do this. So Kelsey did her own shoot. With Nicki Minaj's shoes? What? Did it just because. Now, she could have did a regular post showing herself wearing the sneaker, but she wanted to go all out to make it seem like Nikki was behind it. And I think this was a clout chasing move on Kelsey's part. It was very clout chasing. But anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.